Oh, you're the most amazing specimen I've ever met. Oh, don't worry, Sarah, I wasn't referring to you. Although you are quite all right, I suppose. I was actually referring to this. <laughs> you see, I am a bagiologist. This, this is the Mongolian bus hopper otherwise known as the ugly boogly ugly bagiatus, long thought to be extinct. Now, don't worry about there being bags on the bus, that doesn't mean that this bus is dirty, in fact quite the opposite, because the Mongolian bus hopper chooses only the cleanest, most hygienic buses to hop onto. In fact, they rarely stay for more than a couple of seconds before leaping off with a look of disgust on their faces in search for another bus that it will meet with their impeccable high standards. But, as I'm sure that you will all agree, our little fellow seems to be quite content with the amount of cleanliness inside this bus. I mean, look at his eyes. Look, look at his eyes, how they're beaming with joy. Look at his ears, how they're rotating with pleasure. And if I turn it round, you will see that its wee bottom is shining brightly, which is a surefire sign that this bag is pure with an adulterated delight. So, all of you ladies and gentlemen should feel really privileged to be on this special bus with this special, special bag. And especially you, young lady, because for the Mongolian bus hopper to have chosen to settle so comfortably on your shoulder, it means that you must be the most amazingly hygienic clean person on the planet. Well done, miss. I think that you do scrub up really well. As for me, I am going to be rich and famous. I'm actually going to be so rich and famous that I'm going to get an award. Yes, an award from the American Association of Biologists. <laughs> I think that the Mongolian bus hopper wants to speak to me. This is amazing. I didn't know that they could speak. So, speak to me, Mongolian bus hopper. Speak to me. Wrong mouth, turn right. Oh, I see. Uh, speak to me. I don't want to be discovered. I just want to ride in this lovely fragrant bus with this really amazing clean man he scrubbed up really well so put me down you filthy creature you stink like three weeks worth of underpants you stink oh my god i've never felt so humiliated in my whole life <laughs> okay then enthusiastic audience they were a bit reserved but it was quite interesting though that there was a lady that I could see that she wasn't looking at me but she was laughing so that was really nice and also it was really nice that a gentleman he gave us his newspaper which has insects and so he gave it as a present to us for <laughs> he gave it as a present to us for the performance so we are going to be using it for the next monologues. <laughs> <laughs>